How's it going, people? I'm hanging in there myself. This damn seasonal affective disorder has been kicking my ass. Anyway, I made a new friend, a uh, scapegoat. Sounds so biblical. It's a uh, pale ale. It says, and their motto is, we make water fun by introducing barley and hops and fermentation. And there was something else very interesting. A little bit of advice. Let's see if you can read that. Always drink upstream from the herd. Now that's some damn good advice. I'll drink to that. Upstream. Uh, let's see. Oh. This is a pale ale, huh? Not too pale, but... Mm. This looks like just what the doctor ordered. Alright, where the fuck am I here? That's right! We're starting a new book, and it's the Book of Mormon. Towards the end of the Book of Mormon. Okay, yeah, chapter one of the Book of Mormon. Amaron's charge to Mormon respecting the sacred engravings. War and wickedness. Oh. The three Nephite disciples depart. That's the three Terries that are immune to death and disease. And, and the only thing that makes them sad is how fucked up the world is. And, yeah. Definitely dig that. Uh, Mormon restrained from preaching. So he had to write this book, I guess. Predictions of Abinadi and Samuel the Lamanite fulfilled. Finally. All right, one. And now I, Mormon, make a record of the things which I have both seen and heard, and call it the Book of Mormon. Two. And about the time that Amaron hit up the records unto the Lord, he came unto me. I, being about ten years of age, and I begun, began to be learned somewhat after the manner of the learning of my people. And uh, Amaron said unto me, I perceive that thou art a sober child, and art quick to, dis to, dis to observe, art quick to observe. Why is that hard? And art quick to observe. Three. Therefore, when ye are about twenty and four years old, I would that ye should remember the things that I have observed concerning this people. And when ye are at that age, Go to the land of Antum, unto a hill which shall be called Shem, an Antum hill, <laughs> and there have I deposited unto the Lord all the sacred engravings concerning this people. For, and behold, ye shall take the plates of Nephi unto yourself. And the remainder shall ye leave in that place where they are. And ye shall engrave on the plates of Nephi all the things that ye have observed concerning this people. So it's an appendum. He's gonna add he's gonna add on and then I guess what, rebury it? For us future Gentiles so we can have this. That's so thoughtful. I, and I, Mormon, being a descendant of Nephi, and my father's name was Mormon, 
So you're Mormon Jr.? How many juniors is that now? Starting with Joey Jr. I should have kept track, man. It seems to be an outrageous number of juniors here. Just saying. I mean, I'm named after my daddy, so I know. But sure helps to, so we'd have to keep thinking of great names like knee whore and stuff. All right, where were the fuck was I? Uh, yeah, but his father's name was Mormon, and his name is Mormon. And, oh, I remembered the things which Amron commanded me. Good. Six. And it came to pass. Thank you. Scapegoat. Let's find out. Oh, that's nice. Take that. All my sins are gone. That scapegoat took them. All right. That I, being 11 years old, was carried by my father into the land southward, even the land of Zarahimla. Seven. The whole face of the land had become covered with buildings, and the people were as numerous almost as if it were the sand of the sea. Just a little time of peace and prosperity, and they just, like, breed like lemmings. But you know what lemmings do next, right? They run over a cliff, and they follow each other in blind faith right over a cliff. <sighs> Eight. And it came to pass. In this year, there began to be a war between the Nephites, who consisted of the Nephites, and the Je Jacobites, and the Josephites, and the Zoromites. And this war was between the Nephites, and the Lamanites, and the Lemuelites, and the Ishmaelites. Okay. Now, the Lamanites and the Lemuelites and the Ishmaelites were called Lamanites, so they just lumped them all together, but since we're writing on gold, we can, like, run on and on, can't we? And the two parties were Nephites and Lamanites. Wow. Uh, they already spilled that out, didn't they? Yeah. All right, ten, and it came to pass, and it needed to. Damn it! <sighs> that the war began to be among them <gasps> in the borders of Zarahimla, <laughs> by the waters of Sidon. Eleven. And it came to pass. Starting to pay off now. <sighs> that the Nephites had gathered together even to exceed the number of 30,000. There was more than 30,000 soldiers. Wow. And we're still in verse 11, but guess what? And it came to pass again. Twice. I love another twofer. A doublet. That they did have in this same year a number of battles in which the Nephites did beat the Lamanites. That's some dramatic writing there. I can almost see it. It did slay many of them. Wow. It's like a it's like a middle movie. It's just such great writing. <coughs> Alright, not really. Uh, oh, 12, but first. Yeah. 
Cape coat. Very interesting. I like it. Ugh. It's got character. It's not too sweet. It's just kind of, it's kind of nice. I like that. Nice taste. I'm going to take some of this camp. I don't think my friends could have a little chub. All right. Oh, that's right. Verse 12. Let's see what that, that's about. Ugh. And it came to pass, in verse 12, good thing I poured this, huh? That the Lamanites withdrew their design, and there was peace settled in the land. And peace did remain for the space of about four years. Now, that ain't bad that there was no bloodshed. I mean, you know, they had like a good 200 chunk, but that's uncanny. Four years is pretty good. All right. Oh. Thirteen. But wickedness did prevail upon the face of the whole land, insomuch that the Lord did take away his beloved disciples, the three Terrys, and the work of miracles and of healing did cease because of the iniquity of the people. See, he doesn't want them to, like, become convinced that they're wrong and repent, and he's taken away any chance that they might perceive some proof of some kind, because he only wants 1% of everything that was ever made or born, or created, or whatever. One percent of the people got the money. One percent of everything that ever lived is still alive, and 99 is God! So, that's how it works in heaven, too, huh? One percent, huh? Yeah, I guess. All right. Yeah, because of wickedness and unbelief. All right, wait, wait. Fourteen. And there were no gifts from the Lord, and the Holy Ghost did not come upon any. No fuzzy feelings for them. No burning bosoms. Because of their wickedness and unbelief. You don't get none because of that. He's a little peaked, isn't he? The big G. Fifteen. And I. Being fifteen years of age, he's working up. You know, he's getting us to the present here, slowly. This Mormon Jr. is uh, you know, pretty taken with himself, ain't he? Yeah, being fifteen years of age and being somewhat of a sober mind. Oh, now you're only somewhat of a sober mind. Before you were completely of a sober mind. As a Ten-year-old or an eleven-year-old. Now he's only some way. Ugh. Hey, I, I don't judge. All right. Somewhat of a sober mind. Therefore, I was visited of the Lord and tasted and knew the goodness of Jesus. You tasted Jesus? What, the cracker and the Kool-Aid? Or, uh... I mean... Most people were just happy to, like, finger his wounds. He seemed to like that. <laughs> Boy, you really suffered there. Ooh, that's a deep one. Hey, I went all the way through. <laughs> Sixteen. And I did endeavor to preach unto this people, but my mouth was shut. Uh, can you do it to Glenn Beck while you're at it? Uh. And I was forbidden that I should preach unto them. That's when he was 15? Yeah, shut the fuck up, you're only 15. For behold, they had willfully rebelled against their God. And the beloved disciples were taken away out of the land because of 
their iniquity. They chased the three Terries away. All right. Seventeen. But I did remain among them. But I was forbidden to preach unto them because of the hardness of their hearts. And their heart, uh, wait, uh, and because of the hardness of their hearts, the land was cursed for their sake. They use the same phrase twice in one verse, but it was for a good cause. A lot of gold, but fuck it. Apparently, Joseph Smith was a pretty strong boy, toting his gold book around, you know, hopping over fences and fighting off attackers and it depends on which story you read. I mean, I'm, of course, referring to uh, this wonderful book, which I'm going to read again soon. I don't know, maybe on video. But I don't want to disrespect it like that. <laughs> uh, I don't know. This, this whole fucking video is an abortion, goddammit. Where the fuck am I? All right, there we are. Uh, 18! And these Gadianton robbers, who were among the Lamanites, did infest the land. Insomuch that the inhabitants thereof began to hide up their treasures in the earth. And they became slippery, the treasures. See, they can, like, sink into the ground deeper and pop up in uh, another part of the... the it's still under the earth, but it pops up somewhere else, and you need, like, magic stones to stick in your hat to find them. It makes perfect sense. If you're drunk enough, and I'm not. <laughs> uh, not by a long shot. <laughs> All right. Gaddy Anton Roberts, those fucking... Damn! How many times have they been made extinct, only to pop up, man? All right. Gaddy Anton Roberts, yeah. Yeah. Uh, slippery treasure. All right. Because the Lord had cursed the land that they could not hold them, nor retain them again. So that's what all this Joseph Smith Jr. and Sr. going out and digging for hidden treasure. Could be pirate treasure. It could be like from these guys. They had lots of gold. They could just write on a gold book and just run on and on and yeah, right. Nineteen. And it came to pass. Good. Oops. That there were sorceries and witchcrafts, because they're different somehow. How is witchcraft and sorcery different? There were sorceries and witchcrafts and magics, and the power of the evil one was was wrought upon the face of the land. All right, so we got magics, witchcrafts, and sorceries all as if they're in a category all by themselves. even unto the fulfilling of all the words of Abinadi and also Samuel the Lamanite. They managed to squeeze that in at the end. I was wondering if they were going to get to it. All right, that's it for the first of uh, the Book of Mormon. Let's see. Is this next one long? Oh, yeah, it's a little long. I'll save that one for later. It looks thirsty as shit. Look at that. Can you see all the highlightings? I don't read. I just look for the phrase and highlight. I don't want to cheat and read ahead. <laughs> anyway, let's do some DNC. And I believe, uh, yeah, 20 was like a nightmare. God damn. Five double column pages. And it was pretty, it, this is dense. This is not large print like the other one. Look at that shit. Anyway, I hope you'll check it out. I don't know what to expect in it. I hope it isn't as long. It's, um... Uh, no, it isn't. Good. It'll be a quickie. Maybe I'll do two. All right. Stay tuned. This is going to be some fascinating shit, I hope. 
Um, if not, peace. The fuck out. Have a wonderful day. Whatever the fuck it is you're having, and that could be anything, I don't mind. Make it wonderful. Why not? Come on, you can do it.